Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas with FoodChallenges.com. Today I am extra excited. This is definitely one of the most popular food challenges all around the world. I am at Uncle Lenny's restaurant in Pontoon Beach, Illinois, taking on their Triple Lenny Burger Challenge. Now, if you check out on FoodChallenges.com, either the map search or the list search feature, there's over 3,000 food challenges all around the world. Probably 2,000 of them are burgers. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to beat a multi-patty burger challenge. There's two real basic types of burger challenges. There's single patty burger challenges, where you'll have like one massive three pound, four pound, five pound, big one patty. Now there's also multi-patty burger challenges, which is what this is. We're taking on the triple Lenny burger challenge. As you can see, it's got three one pound burger patties on it. I've got 45 minutes to eat this entire meal. We've got the triple Lenny burger, which has three pounds of meat. And then we've got all of these vegetables we have to finish too, which will all be part of the strategy, along with this large side of fries. So we're gonna get all of this down and we're gonna talk about all the strategy. All right, pre-ritual is done. Very, very ready, Atlas is hungry. We are gonna dominate this challenge. But for the strategy, with a multi-patty burger challenge, a single patty, you pretty much just gotta go at it. Either way, you wanna go for the meats and the proteins first, unless the carbs at the end are gonna be really tough to get. But as far as these fries go, they look absolutely delicious. Even with them a little bit cooled down, I'll still be able to get these down, and plus I've got my lemonade and my diet soda to help me get those down. But for this, we are going to start by getting the first two patties down, and then we'll take care of the bun later. Then we'll get some of the vegetables in between. Now let's get this thing started. All right, so we've got 45 minutes to do this thing. I've got my timer, the restaurant has theirs. For the first 10, 15 minutes, it's gonna be boom, boom, boom. You gotta eat as much as you can, especially if you're not a fast eater. Eat as fast as you can while you can, and then you coast to the finish. So, let's begin. One, two, three. All right, now we're gonna take this bun off and start by eating the top portion, which some of that stuck, but we're gonna stick to letting the cheese and all that stay on there, which this is hot. And that's the other thing to remember, don't start the challenge until it's cooled down. But for this, it's not gonna to be too bad. We don't wanna start when it's cooled down. So let's start by getting the edges. All right, as you can see, I'm just sawing away at it, getting little by little. You don't want to stress your jaw out by having to chew a whole bunch once it's in the mouth. Take a lot of small bites and then a little bit of water, get it all down, move on to the next set of bites. We got our first patty down, two minutes and 30 seconds in, so we got plenty of time. Now what I'm gonna do is, to help with the flavor, this cheese in the burger is very, very good. Easily finishable without help. But I'm going to change up the flavor on my palate by eating some of these vegetables, then we'll move on to that second patty. All right, so I got some of those down, and this is just gonna be your personal preference. Some people can't eat vegetables like this alone. So you may need a sauce or you may need to eat it with the burger and you can do that too. But for me, I like vegetables. I eat a lot of them. I'm able to eat them plain, even raw onions. So that's what I do. You do what you need to do to get the victory. Now let's move on to the second patty. Now as you can see, since I left it all together, the steam is still there. It's still hot, but that's gonna make this go down a lot easier than if it was cooled off.
All right, another strategy you can use when you're doing a burger challenge is these vegetables are loaded with water. What I'm gonna do now is chase my bites with some pickles and tomato, which are very liquidy, full of water, which are going to help the burger go down a lot easier without actually using the unrequired liquids to the side here. So what I'm gonna do now is, I've got that on that, and then this is all just a personal preference. Now like I said, there may be multi-burger challenges with 12 patties, three patties, six patties, whatever challenge you're doing, this strategy is pretty similar. Now with this one, or once you get down to the last patty, which we only have one, and I've left the cheese on it so that it can still make the beef delicious, what I'm going to do is eat this, especially because the bun is thin, is just one single burger. Now, it all depends on your taste buds. If you would rather eat all the meat and then eat the bun separately, you can do that too, just gnaw on this last, which that's gonna go down real easy using the soda or whatever you need. But for this, I'm going to enjoy the burger challenge because it's food, it should be enjoyed, and then we're gonna get this down, which it's not gonna be time difference wise, the meat and the lettuce and the flavor of it is gonna help all go down at once rather than if you just broke it all down. Also mentally, you know once you bite into it, you're that much further into the challenge. So let's get this finished. About 11 minutes in, I just want to briefly touch on Duncan. Now, a lot of people talk about, and if you are doing a challenge, there may be somebody, just a bystander saying, oh, you need to be dunking the bread because that's the best strategy. On something like this, as you saw, it's almost paper thin bread. Dunking is really not going to have that much of an advantage, and just like the bottom bun either. The grease from the burger has been trapped inside the bun which is making it go down real easy. So if it's a really, really thick, unnecessarily thick bun, you may want to dunk if that's that's complete, completely up to you. I don't, because I actually enjoy the food. And like I've always said, once you dunk the food into lemonade or water or whatever it is, it's gonna taste like crap. So enjoy the food just like it is meant to be. That's why the restaurant created it and you can still get the victory without making yourself look like a big slob. Thirteen minutes in, as you saw, I switched from water to the lemonade to help me with the flavor. If you eat four or five pounds or whatever you eat, of your favorite food, the last few bites probably aren't gonna be as good because of flavor fatigue, and that is why I switched to lemonade. But now we're gonna get these last bit of fries down. I'm gonna use the acidity and the carbonation to help me get these fries down. And now another thing is, while I finish up these last remaining crumbs, because leave no doubt, make sure to make it easier on your mind. Food challenges are a big, big mental game, so what I'm gonna do is simply remove a plate. When you're nearing the end of a challenge, you wanna make sure that it's as easy on your mind as you can. So that's why we've only got a small bowl with a small portion of fries. If you need to, even use the bigger plate and separate them into little, small portions just so you know how many bites you have left. What I'm gonna do, I call it a little fry ball, is crunch the fry up so that I have to do less chewing and you don't want to eat just one fry at a time. Eat as much as you can together, get it down and get the victory. Another thing to note, We've still got plenty of time left on this challenge, but if in your multi-patty burger challenge, you're starting to run out of time, you're starting to fill up, it's okay to stand up or kneel down or do what you need to do. 
because the kneeling and the standing helps open up your stomach, let some of that food digest. It's all up to a personal preference. You have to take the strategies that we have on these videos, adapt them to yourself, your body type, and your capabilities, and get the victory for yourself. Under 18 minutes. Seventeen thirty-four is the official time. That is how you beat a multi-patty burger challenge. Now whether there's two or seventy patties, it's all the same strategy. Take down all the meat patties you can along with the toppings and everything along the way. And then when you get down to the bottom, eat it as one big burger or still eat the meat first. Then go on to the fries and you've already got everything else done. If there's any other size to do, you already know how to do those. Feel free to check out all of the tips and strategy articles on foodchallenges.com. Check out all the other videos available. And until my next video, this is Randy Santel, Atlas with foodchallenges.com, teaching people how to win food challenges all over the world.